Hello everyone, it is Not a Noob Pat, and today I'm going to be doing a short video on how to get a Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree, and Wilderness Obelisk in your player owned house. It is important to note that all of these are built in the Superior Garden, which requires 65 construction and 75,000 GP. Let's start with the Fairy Ring. For the Fairy Ring, you need a Fairy Enchantment, which can be purchased for 100 GP from Fairy Fix It after the completion of Fairy Tales Part 2. The Fairy can be found right near the Xanaris Fairy Ring. After purchasing this, you'll also need 10 mushrooms and a watering can. It requires 85 construction to make. A crystal saw bonus cannot be used because you are actually using the water can to make the fairy ring, but a spicy stew bonus can be used. Fairy rings are useful to get around RuneScape. I commonly use them to get to Canifus and the Chasm of Fire for Slayer tasks. Next, for the spirit tree, you will need a spirit sapling and a watering can. To get a spirit sapling, you will need to add a spirit seed to a filled plant pot, water it, then wait a farming tick before you can plant the sapling as the tree. Spirit seeds are rare drops and cannot be traded player to player or bought from the GE. Seeds are most commonly found from searching bird nest, and they can also come from Vorkath, Zolra, or Hispori. You will need 75 construction and 83 farming. Again, you're using the watering can to create the spirit tree, so that means no crystal saw boost, but you can use a spicy stew. Unlike a normal farming tree, you will instantly grow a spirit tree. I most commonly use this to get from the GE to my player-owned house, so I can teleport wherever I need to go. Finally, you can create a Wilderness Obelisk at 80 construction. You can use the Crystal Saw Boost for this one, as well as a Spicy Stew. You'll need to have 4 Ancient Crystals and 4 Marble Blocks. This means that the Obelisk is extremely expensive, but it is buyable without any other requirements outside of the construction level. You can choose where you want to teleport if you have the Wilderness Hard Diary complete. If not, you'll have to teleport to a random Wilderness Obelisk. It is important to note that unlike the other two, you cannot teleport from a wilderness obelisk back to your own player-owned house. Anyways, that wraps it up for my video on how to make these three awesome additions to your house. If this video helped you at all, please leave a like. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. And if you need any more help with RuneScape, please make sure to visit my channel for other content.